to the Kappa Castle. Today we're going to give you a tour of our home. Right this way? My name is Mia Kilaway and I'm membership chair here at Kappa Kappa Gamma. Here we have our formal uh, where a lot of pieces of Kappa are represented from the blue on blue furniture to the Florida Lees over our fireplace. It's a great place to hang out and it was just recently renovated. and I'm the public relations chair here at Kappa Kappa Gamma and right here we are in our trophy room so as you can see we have a lot of trophies in here a lot of our awards from spring sports and other events around campus this is a great place to hang out a lot of people like napping on this couch and it's also a great place to take phone calls because you can shut the door and have a little bit of privacy So from the trophy room, we head right on into the informal. There's never a dull moment here in the informal. It's where all the girls love to come and hang out, whether they're studying, relaxing, having viewing parties for their favorite TV shows, or watching Butler men's basketball games. If you're ever bored, the informal always has something going on here. Right behind me we have our kitchen. We serve lunch and dinner Monday through Thursday, brunch on Friday, and dinner on Sunday. Saturday is a great time to go and explore Indy with your friends and see what other options are off campus. We also have a fully stocked kitchenette with great breakfast options and snacks. Along with that we have a fridge where you can keep any of your own groceries and leftovers from the meals that we've had. We are on the third floor and we are at the beauty bar which is an awesome place to get ready alongside all of your sisters and roommates for big events like block party, formals, and Kappa kickoff. Here at Kappa we have three different types of rooms, double, triple, and our penthouse. Our penthouse is the closest thing to a cold dorm, it fits anywhere between 7 to 10 girls and it was just redone last summer. Another awesome part about living in the penthouse is the closet space. So if you ever need to borrow an outfit, you know where to go. And here's an example of our triple. We have come down from the third floor and now we are on the second floor in one of our doubles. So obviously two girls live here. These rooms are super cute and super spacious. Right along this wall we have our second floor bathroom. We obviously have bathrooms on every single floor, but this one includes another giant beauty bar and tons of showers. And right here we have our president's suite that fits two people and has its own bathroom. And right here we have our red stairs. And fun fact, every single Kappa chapter across the country actually has red stairs in their chapter houses. So it's something cool and unique that makes our house a little bit different. Well, that concludes our tour of the Kappa Castle. Thank you so much for watching and go, go Greek. Greek! Bye! <laughs> So now that you got to take a look at our house, we want to talk to you guys about finances, philanthropy, academics, and sisterhood. 
So first we'll talk about finances. So when you join Kappa, there is a one-time fee of $1,062 and that's for all of our new members. And then each semester you have to pay dues and room and board. But living in Kappa is actually much cheaper than a lot of the other options on campus, such as sophomore and junior dorms. Another cool thing about Kappa is that we do not fine. We understand that Kappa might not be your number one priority at all times. And we have athletes and other sisters who hold leadership positions in clubs. And they have a lot of other obligations besides Kappa. So we don't fine if you have to miss an event or if you're running late to an event. We totally understand and we encourage you to get involved with other options on campus besides Kappa. So something really cool about Kappa and Greek life in general is that we're really passionate about our philanthropies. Kappa is fortunate enough to actually support three different ones. The first one is the Kappa Foundation. Uh, the Kappa Foundation is where we have the opportunity to help our sisters in need, whether that be from them suffering in a natural disaster or with finances, whatever it may be. Um, it's essentially to say that once you're a Kappa, you're a Kappa for life. So it doesn't just end when you're done with your four years of college, it goes out throughout your whole life. Our second philanthropy is Reading is Fundamental, otherwise known as RIF, and all Kappa chapters across the country support RIF. And locally, we support RIF by actually going to elementary schools and middle schools and reading to the children. It's really awesome experiences. Our sisters are waking up at 5 and 6 a.m. before their own classes to read to these children, and we try and donate books as much as we can. And Reading is Fundamental is an awesome philanthropy that we love to support with fellow chapters across the country. Our third philanthropy is actually a local organization. Uh, each Kappa chapter gets to pick and choose their own philanthropy to help out locally. Uh, we chose the Coburn Place, which is right here in Indianapolis. Um, the Coburn Place is an organization in which uh, we help victims of interpersonal abuse. Our past philanthropy event, actually not too long ago, was Kappa Kickoff, and we raise money uh, as much as we can. It's really fun. We got to do lip syncs and uh, tons of events throughout the week, give backs, uh, anything that we could. Uh, it's our huge philanthropy event and we love supporting Coburn. Yeah. Another cool thing about the Coburn Place, because it is our local philanthropy, a lot of current members actually go there throughout the semester to volunteer there and a lot of Kappa alum actually continue working there once they graduate. So obviously once you join Kappa, you are joining a sisterhood and we do a lot of things throughout the year to promote that sisterhood. Whether it's playing Just Dance in the front yard with our projector, watching The Bachelorette and in informal as a viewing party with your friends, or making Valentine's Day cards for veterans in the kitchen. Not only do these scheduled events represent our sisterhood, but on a day-to-day -day basis around the house, you can always find us hanging out and being with each other as much as we can. And obviously we have those super fun events like formals, mom's day, dad's day, and philanthropy events that we always have and we love spending time with our sisters out there. So obviously here at Kappa we are very passionate about our academics. Um, living in is a really great opportunity to not only hang out with your sisters and maybe do study groups and that sort of thing, but we also enforce quiet hours in which you can really focus on your academic needs. Um, along with that, we have a study room uh, that a lot of our girls really like to utilize. Um, again, not only to study with your sisters, but to also have a quiet space. Um, another thing that makes Kappa really special is that we also have a committee in which uh, girls check in on our other sisters. Maybe they're struggling in a certain class or they need help connecting with a tutor. Um, this is a really great way for us to achieve our highest potential within the house. Well, that's everything for today about our sisterhood, philanthropy, finances, and academics. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.